everybody. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little, a little bit late. Like, So I just wanted to um, introduce you to everybody here today. We have a couple of things that have joined us in our session about our art certificate. And we have uh, with, um, Philip Swelcher. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hi. And we also have Mervyn. So I just ask you all if you could um, pin whichever screen you would like to see. So the camera that you're seeing now is um, Gloria Ocaturini behind the camera, and she's our art worker. Um, so she'll be going around with the iPad and I will also um, ask Marissa um, Mayer, who is our assistant manager, um, and she's just going to do a quick welcome to you to kick off our workshop today. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, welcome here to the Urban Art Centre. We um, acknowledge the um, people that we are on here in Mount Bandra. Um, I also would like to acknowledge the celebration of Day Off Week, which we are happy to be part of uh, doing this workshop with our Eastern artists, and I think it's it's uh, important to acknowledge the land that we're on and the, for the past, future, and present artists that we have here and for our ancestors. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to um, get stuck straight into it. Um, so if you have, uh, obviously you've got your paper and your kits at home, and you have um, the um, tree study that we'll be doing today, um, so if you can, you can also use a, a picture of your own choice if you want to. Um, the first thing that you'll start to do is to do a simple outline. So that's you know, the very first thing that you start doing. It doesn't have to be detailed in any way. Um, and I'll take you over and I'll show you Hubert, who has already started this process. As you can see, he's just doing a very, um, a very faint, very basic outline um, of his print shape. The camera will mostly be on the artist, and I'll be talking in the background, um, doing a bit of a, a running commentary and asking questions. For those of you who are new to watercolour, the idea of watercolour is it works on layering. It's a little bit different to acrylic in that um, watercolours, you always start off with your lightest colour first and then by adding more colour, that's where you add, add your shading. So that's where... Um, you know, you, you, your shadowing and, and your light comes from by, by adding your next layer of colour. The kit that you have at home are a fairly basic kit that we have provided um, and to get you to you know, get a feel for using watercolour. And of course, if you like the idea of watercolour, you can certainly um, you know, invest in, in better quality. It's the 
goes with the paper that we have provided as well. There's lots of different grades. <coughs> online at the moment. So you can keep your microphones on if you want to, or you can turn it off. Um, we just ask us that you're talking to yourselves or, or family at home that you turn your microphone off. But if you would like to ask a question to any of the artists at any time, please feel free to write it in the chat box. Um, or you can ask you can ask the artists. We don't have to be silent. We can certainly um, interact. The beautiful tree. Mm -hmm. sure. Thanks, Gloria. So for your reference, I'm just going to show you some of the students. Oh, oh well. So this is a close-up of the gum tree that Hubert has done. So these are the theories that he's working that are all part of So you can see by what I was talking about with this watercolour that He's using all his shading by by his by his layering of the watercolor. So obviously right underneath is the first layer giving a very light brush. And then he's added color to create his pattern. I know that sounds so much easier said than done, mm -hmm. and it takes a great deal of practice. Um, but that's the very basic theory of using this. Yes, that's the Mervyn is quite different in his style and that he's very bold. I think he's just a Yeah, he's very stylized. Yeah. very unique in different styles of using the color. Yes. So Hubert, what's what the next, next step? What's the next step after you've done your, your outline? Yeah, we use the blue earth and sky. Just be careful when you're this one. Mm -hmm. Keep being careful with this mark. So you go with this mark.
Painting around. Around the trees. trees? Be careful with the pencil mark. Be careful of the pencil mark? Yeah. And why do you need to be careful of the pencil marks? If you put a pen on top of the pencil mark, you would rub it off. Mm. And you can see the marks. See the marks. And um, you also can't rub the pencil marks off after once you put watercolour over the top. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Always be okay. so if you've done that, that's fine. Yeah, it's a bit different. Actually, does do very long strokes and he works very quickly mm -hmm. yeah. to do the wash and the sky. But on this size, um, it, it can be a bit more difficult to do that because it's a lot more detailed. Yeah. Okay. At any time, this video, because it's moving all the time, it is hard to watch. So you can always pin the other screen, which is the stable computer. It gives you a wider shot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And if at any time you can't hear anything, please let us know. And we can repeat, or I can ask Hubert or Mervyn or one of the participants to repeat what they're saying. Layer. Is that right? Really cool to try. Yeah. Just to try. Okay. 
We're actually, I'm just going to move your water because of the camera. We're going to try and position the camera in the <coughs> table spot so that it can um, film me the whole time. Yeah, this paper is very different. Mm. Oh, I was just going on this one. Thank you. 
So someone asked, is Hubert doing two layers of blue? And yes, he is doing two layers of blue. I put out the same paper for Hewitt and Mervyn as I did for the participants. I haven't always done that, but I thought this time I would. So you can, so there's an accurate, um, so what it looks like from you painting on the paper to what Mervyn and Hewitt are painting on the paper. Um, <laughs> it's like, what is this? There's no way to hide. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, you know, art materials that affect the outcome greatly. Mm. But we're not aiming for a masterpiece here. We're experimenting with watercolor. Mm. And see if you um, really like it. If it's something that you would want to continue on with, and hopefully take away some skills or a few, a few skills in the way of Watercolor is a very um, tricky technique, a, a tricky medium to use. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can apply watercolor. One of the ways that I was just talking about before, which is wet on dry or dry on wet, and how um, you know how diluted. Cubit often uses a very small amount of watercolor and adds a lot of water. Whereas Cubit uh, Mervin prefers to be quite thick uh, with um, application of colour. So if it's just a typical landscape and the sky is fairly um, Empty. The sky usually doesn't take that long, it's usually a quick wash on the top. But obviously, because you have quite a detailed um, branches that you have to paint between, so the sky is taking a while. <laughs> I hope everyone at home is going okay. And if you are wanting to ask any questions, please feel free to put, them, put your microphone on and join in. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What, can you not tell me a little bit about yourself? Can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I can say. What are you gonna say? Where are you from? When did you start uh, painting? I'm a uh, 
Just down in the man. Then I bought a drink. And I put a crow up my throat. And one with my father, very throat biting, and then move. Uh, what's your name? Yes. Um, uh, so when I go to school, I practice some uh, episodes. I don't really have any pain in the off days. And, uh, yeah, I used to do pain. I started with some animals, you know, pain with animals, horses, people who died up with horses. My grandfather had a lot of horses. Mm -hmm. Cattle, manicures, cattle, ponies. That's why I start off from the food of horses. Camels, all that. And then uh, mm -hmm. I just start off at some house, at the mandarin's work. When I go out with my brother, I do some writing. And then she had a cooking plot. And I had to buy the cross trees. We had it in the cooking plot. And who was your father? My father was ruling the road. Ribbon yeah, he was a uh, horse. He, 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 he heard from my other memory. That was his other cousin. That was all good. Other cousins. Yeah. So they all come together? Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. And uh, they used to drop around, like some of the other thing, and go petting you. I was thinking it was so. Yeah, so you hey, come with me. Just me and uh, some of my boys. Friend, you know? It's good. Yeah. You just try to throw it, throw it to the ground and try to do it. Of, or second generation of the Hansberg school. Yes. That Albert, yeah. Albert started. Mm -hmm. And Albert was there in my what was I'm I did. did Seven. Oh, five. Five years old. Yeah. So, yeah. Eating glass. Right? Yeah. Hard for a man to It's a young fellow. Yeah. Uh, He's got a girl. Yeah, that's a trouble for picking luck. Oh. Oh, brother, when it's wet. That's the old, old thing. Yes. Who do you like painting the best? The rangers or elm trees? Anything. Oh, I have it. Leaves, huh? you know, which is, yeah, which oh, is yeah. your favorite? Is your 
doing the trees or the ranges? Ranges. Yes. Not the red, yeah. Not for me. Yeah. But what do you prefer painting? Yeah. Or is it all the same? Like painting the, the gum trees and the ranges and yeah. yeah. Some people have backgrounds and uh, have them and the big rocks. Are you good at now advising everybody to rub? This is dry. When it's dry, rubbing it too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you rub it a little bit. Wet, you know, you come to sky. So, it's wet. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Approximating a tree, anyway. Mm -hmm. Experience, and that's not the finished product. The experience of making it. Yes. So it's just the process of creating, not the finished product. Okay, so we've got yeah. Yeah. I painted it over also. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm very messy. <laughs> yeah, mine's uh, I'm sort of just. I was always in trouble at school for not painting inside the line. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a that means you're a real creative, no. doesn't it? If you don't stick to the lines. Okay. I think. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll paint it darker. Yeah. Okay. And Mervyn, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Good. Good. Mervyn. Good. Where are you from? I'm from here. Where, where were you born? Born in the old Telegraph Station. Born in the Telegraph Station? Yeah. Telegraph Creek. Well, oh. Telegraph Creek? Yeah. yeah. Ellis was a friend in my, my family, my, my father's family. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we got a creek on the center of Ireland. Yeah. Born there. Right. But, uh, I know the place. They show me. Near the telegraph station yeah, at the creek. Wow. Beautiful spot. Beautiful, beautiful place. It's so sacred. And I, I just love it out there. Then they took me to the old hospital mm -hmm. clinic. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where I was crazy. We did. We had all the hospital at the drug operation, didn't they? But we did the whole hospital. Opposite the street here. Old hospital. Near the Uniting Church, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on the green. Okay. Hmm. Wow. And from there, we got a fact that there was other one. So. Uh, we want a new building now, a new hospital clinic. But we did it. <laughs> no, it's big. Yeah, yeah. to Among Us. We're going to move to Among Us. Okay. Like those two. We can make it. Move to Among Us. Among Us is for safe to go. Um, talking loudly so the microphone can pick up your voice. So everybody can hear you. Oh, the microphone. Yeah, 
Yeah. And who taught you to paint? How when did you learn to paint? I was I, I learned painting in the late seventies. Was it like April twenty fourth, July? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Don't remember. Right. Those are uh, the local artists. Uh -huh. You just take. That's my uncle. Was Abbott. Came Abbott. With a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. In Karaka, in Kamala, in Kamala, and everything in Karaka. Mm -hmm. I've seen their painting. Yeah. Different style. Mm -hmm. What happened? They told me, you paint, you see money. Right. Uh -huh. No, we don't give you money. <laughs> <laughs> you do your own giving, you see money. Yeah. He doesn't give you money? Yeah. The government. Yeah, right. You make your own living. Yes. You pay for it. Do you pay any? Pay for power, yeah. and water. You grow up in the future, you know? Uh -huh. He told me. Uh -huh. I got a wall in here. I did. That's how, that's how it works today. Yeah, I'm first started to think about painting. Mm. So, oh. I was painting. There was no building here. Mm -hmm. We used to be living up here. Mm -hmm. So slow the ladder. Right. Otherwise, oh, there's no camp here. Right. Oh, there's, there's, no there's no camp. Right. Right. I'll let you get back to yeah. doing it. I'm just going to move the camera around the number position to see if we can get it better. Gold, bright yellow. Mervyn is now using on his friends. Yeah, we got. I think the global artists doing like this. Where's? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get in here and reach out. 
So that's it. And yeah, another really good thing. Um, layering takes a really long time. Yeah. So building up the layers, it's um, and letting them dry. Well, that's what um, you want to do is let them dry. Very, um, very rarely do people get a painting finished within the workshop. Something that you can keep working on outside of, yeah, outside of the workshop. And I think there's probably, you know, there's that point of deciding when it is finished and when it's not, because I think you can keep adding, you can keep adding Ooh. layers for, for a really long time. <laughs> So Hubert has the same paper as all of you. Mm. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, he is finding it a bit challenging. I can see, you know, the quality. Funny paper. <laughs> Funny paper. Not even. Well, they do have little paints. Mm -hmm. You want my painting? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I'm very happy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's why they don't do the like well on dry. They do well on wet. Good. They like the blue. Yeah. Do you pay to throw? Are you still mixing the colours for this? That's not very interesting. Also keeping in mind that this the period of time that it takes for the paper to dry can also depend on the quality of paper as well. So don't be too hard on yourself about yeah, the how the watercolour is reacting with the paper. Um, because as I've said before, the, the better the paint quality and the better the paper, it actually works greatly in your favour. So just letting everybody know that's about because we started late. Um, and if you would like to stay on, of course, if you you know have to log out, that's fine. We've still got about twenty about twenty minutes to go. Uh, it does go pretty well. Everybody's very quiet online. <laughs> Is anyone there? <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're concentrating. <laughs> colours to make the shadows on your um, on the bark can you tell me what colours you did use I think I used uh, light brown uh -huh. and uh, I have more brown to make a bit darker Yep. Uh, I'm going to put a 
little bit of black on the pen, just three times. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, so it's special recipe then. So you're using the same, are you using the same brown, but just different? Same brown. Yep. Really? My brown first, then the other. Yep. And uh, black my last, and then the other. Yep. Okay. So, same brown, but he yeah. the first layer is lots more water, yes. so quite light, uh -huh. and then yes. you add more color to it for yes. your next layer, yeah. and then more color again. So mm -hmm. it doesn't okay. have to be a different color brown; it's the exact same brown, mm -hmm. same brown, but different thickness. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good. Do they want to learn paint? Definitely. Not interested. Not interested. Yeah, probably. I'm just going to bring the camera back up and show, show the rest of the yeah, to get back to work. Yeah. 
Also, quite different to acrylic in that when you layer your colors because they they can merge or mix together, you can create a different color. So, for example, um, Mervyn um, oftentimes paints his leaves by paint by adding um, but first using yellow. And then he'll use a blue or a light blue over the top of the yellow, mm -hmm. which then creates a green Ooh. rather than, you know, just going straight to your palette and, and choosing a green, he'll um, mix those colours together. to um, leave early because we would have loved to have seen your artwork. We're going to have a little show and tell at the end. Yeah. We are. <laughs> yes. Paint the blue and then paint the yellow, and I went, yeah, okay. so I did that. And then I got picked in the sun, said, you know, doing tree studies. What's all this land? It's going to take you through. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> Make it dark. <laughs> Darken oh, it all. <laughs> 
from China. <laughs> 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 Would we be able to put the camera above Mervyn's work so we can see it from above? Absolutely. Do you have it on there? Yours. So I'm going to go above Mervyn. Above Alfred. Oh wow. That's great. Isn't that beautiful? Very stylized, very... Yeah. Yeah. I love the, the way um, Mervyn just uses the flat colours and it just makes the whole picture, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It just pops right off the paper. Oh, it does. And well, we'd be able to look above... Um, Hubert's as well, so we can see that too, please. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. That's going to take a lot longer to, to pop on the paper because he does. So many more intricate details with yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Once it's finished, then um, all the details will jump out. It's actually great seeing everybody's style, isn't it? Everyone's so different. Absolutely, yeah. Mervyn and Hubert are quite a, a two good artists. Well, they're both um, our senior artists and they also um, have very different styles in painting. So it's, it's really good to observe them painting because it gives you an idea of, um, you know. Of how to do it, yeah. Yeah, I've been online and looked at both their works. They're both wonderful. Right. Yeah.
When you paint, do you um, often use a reference image, a, a picture that you paint from, or do you just paint from your mind, or do you go out on country? I go out on country, and sometimes I just, when I'm made, I mean, I'm tired of just kind of in my head. So you, re you remember the landscape well? Yes. You don't, so I can you just paint see my country way. in my mind. What about you? Do you like to paint from from pictures or from yeah. your mind? Yeah. Or, but in the mind when I go out push. Yeah. Got countryside. Yeah. Yeah. And what color to put? Yeah. Like draw. Depending on the time of day, the, yeah. the ranges yeah. change color dramatically, don't they? Yeah. So everybody, I think um, I think we'll start wrapping up now. And it would probably be really nice if we can have a little show and tell at home and show um, we can show everybody what we've done in the art center and what everybody's done at home. So I'm just going to um, announce green now. I'm just going to show. So if you all want to have a look at the screen, Cuban and Mervyn. There you go. Yeah. Uh, our participants. Thank you. If you'd like to hold up your work and share yeah, your you work with us, that would be really. <laughs> Be really great. Oh, that was fantastic. What about Joe? Where are you going? Joe, how how did you go? Well, because I I couldn't log on until later, I did I had my materials here, but I missed the introduction, so I just decided to watch rather oh. than participate. But I can do it another time. But I have beautiful paintings by both your artists there today, so I feel very lucky. Oh, fantastic! But do you think um, you'll try and and do the workshop on your own now that you've watched this? Yeah, I might have a have a try. Mm. But it'd be yeah. good. Uh, I can't see who else is there. It's looking a bit dark. Um, and some of the cameras are off. But 
You don't have to share. That's totally fine. <laughs> I got. I think I got most of mine done. You know. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> See how we go with the. Oh yes, that's fantastic. Oh, that's oh, awesome. that's Everyone here agrees. That's very that's looking really great. Oh, that's yours. Oh, that is so good. That's great. Oh, she's that's, good. Good. <laughs> that's good. Oh, you did a good job as well. This is mine. Yeah, this is yours. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. Mm. Yes. No better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put the I love that. That's beautiful. I love that. I love that. How did you go? Well done. Well done. So, Amazing. So you, you've got lots, lots of things to do. Yeah. And we've got Mervyn here. Yeah. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, is there any more, Gloria? I can see someone else, but Jess. Jennison? Yes. Hey, I was I was just watching, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> watching. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think we're going to have to wrap it up there now and just like to say thank you so much um, for participating and I hope that you got something out of it um, and that you enjoyed it. Oh. Um, we have a couple more workshops coming up and we'd love to see you. If not, um, I hope that it's kind of sparked an interest in some um, in learning watercolour a little bit more and um, continuing yes. on with it. it. Yeah. So thank you everybody for, for participating. Thank you. Thank you. Artists. Thank you, thank you. And have a great NAIDOC week, everyone. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.